Hey everyone, and welcome to my Let's Play of Jurassic World Evolution. Um, I actually tried recording this video like six different times, but apparently my recorder has a mind of its own, and it only likes to record audio and not the commentary, so I'm hoping this time I got everything fixed, and that it's actually recording my voice and not just the background music. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start a new game and hope for the best and see if this time it'll actually record something. Hello. May I say welcome? My name is Dr. Ian Malcolm. You may have heard of me. Well, correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should. Just diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are, and uh, you want to be ready before you try that. I don't know. I think it would be really cool to start out with a T-Rex. Just in my opinion, even if he is big and angry, I think it would still be pretty cool. Cabot Finch, public relations and crisis management, and I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond creation lab. We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side, but watch out for dinosaurs. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so normally I like to build it way over here, but you can't do that until like the tutorial's over. So you have to build in this little blue square. Um, yeah, but building it way over, it kind of counteracts with this pylon over here. And it, you won't be able to make the path straight and have super OCD. So, I'm not going to do that. Focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes. <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. I think it's pretty cool how they do the buildings You'll like need that. To connect it to the pre -existing network of I like games that do that. Grid. Now comes the real test. Incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. So the one cool thing that I noticed is that you can start uh, manipulating their genes like right away and you can actually um, get a different skin for your first dinosaur. If you try doing it after um, the tutorial, it'll probably fail. Like when I first started this, my um, other skin Struffies died like a lot. So if you do this while the tutorial is still going, it'll be successful and you get a higher rated dinosaur like right off the bat, which I think is pretty cool. Machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch. Yes, the the last time. It's actually going really fast. Last time. And a next. Ma'am, our Shufi's ready. Life, it begins. The most precious moment. The result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations. <laughs> they look so awesome. <laughs> unknowable combinations. They did such a good job on the dinosaurs. All leading to a living breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique, and now we, you, just manufacture them. So, <laughs> well done, I guess. <laughs> so cool. The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest. Security, 
entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. So when I first played this, I went for um, security. Um, I think right now I'm going to go for science, just because I haven't done it yet. Ah, Dr. Dua. This is our new director of operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dua. I run the science division of our operation. Okay, you're going to need to build your reputation in the science division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. So I'm thinking about placing this somewhere around this area right here. Contracts can be requested just because there's power still. Inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. So, one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote-unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't get, is that these guys are supposed to be working for you, and it's like they get jealous. People think money makes the world go around, but they're wrong. Contracts make the world go around, my friend. Obligations and commitments. Complete a contract, and your rep with the science division will increase. Meaning, you'll be able to take on more complex and challenging missions. That doesn't make sense if they're em your employees that they'll just sabotage you because you're not, like, asking them for contracts. That just doesn't make any sense. Like, if this was, like, real life, they would be fired on the spot. Especially if, like, they first, the first time they sabotage me, they would be just, like, gone. interesting opportunity for you to consider. It will allow us to work together to create life. Pure life. If you've been listening to Dr. Malcolm, then you know how important this is to us. And to me. Acquire 50% genome of a triceratops. Um, we can do that. So, before I start anything, um, I want to start creating a way to make revenue. Kind of person. Inquisitive, driven, and I knew you couldn't resist this opportunity. So let's get started. So what I want to do is, if it'll let me, which it doesn't... Together, we can create a more authentic version of our dinosaurs. That means a complete genome. And I think you are up to the challenge. Don't disappoint. I want to build in some amenity stuff just so that we can start generating some revenue so that I don't go flat broke like right away. Because it will happen. And then I want to get like a viewing platform like right around here. Our viewing gallery. And it should fit like right here. I could put it right there. Right here, maybe? Yeah. And then I need some power, so I'm gonna get this powered up first. And I want this to go like right next to there just so that it looks all nice and pretty. And I'm gonna try to connect it over there. I don't like how they have all these power stations like all over the place. It would be nice if like later on in the game if you got like an upgrade to do substations. To where they would be all like underground or yeah that way it's not like cluttering your park up just that it looks a little bit nicer and our guy is gonna need some food our girl how's she doing anyways she's gonna be doing okay 
We should probably get her some food. I think I'm going to name her. She kind of looks like a watermelon to me, so I'm thinking about naming her watermelon. Don't want to name her that? Yeah. Watermelon. Yeah, she kind of does look like a watermelon. She's got like the greenish brownish stripes and the little pink head. She does look like a watermelon. I think it's cute when they prune themselves. It's just adorable. Adorable. Alright. So yeah, I wanted to build one more thing for the guests just so they can start getting some money in here. And we'll put in like a fast food place and... The other thing is you can't build over water in this game, which is kind of silly to me. You have to actually flatten it out before you can actually build anything, and that's kind of weird to me. It should just automatically build over, but it doesn't. The other thing is there's like a lot of train constraints. Like, even if there's like a buildable area, sometimes it'll find something that it can't build over, and like... It'll tell you like, oh, there's a train constraint, and then you try flattening it, and it just makes things way worse. Hopefully this will fit now. I don't know if it will. Oh, well. Okay. And I kind of want this to be over here, maybe backed out just a tiny bit. Scoot it over, and right there. That way we can get some kind of money going in. And I kind of want to get our Stufi and Mom with some friends to play with. But I'm going to turn off the genome just because it'll probably fail if I don't. might fail anyways, but we'll give it a try and see what happens. It's still pretty low. Um, I should have probably checked this first because they do give you fossils to start out with. The fossil center lets you extract DNA from fossils and yeah, see, there's already some DNA for the Struthiomimus. I'm also supposed to be working on Triceratops, so we'll do that too. And actually, it didn't fail. Kind of surprised, because it kind of fails a lot. Especially in the way beginning. Anything under, like, 60 usually fails quite a bit. Sometimes 60. A Struthio Mimus. Interesting. Another dinosaur that furthers the case of a direct link And I kind of want to put one more in and have, like, four of them. And start working on getting more the genome for the Triceratops. Will allow you to send dig teams around the world in search of new dino fossils. DNA can be extracted from these fossils, which our scientists can then turn into living, breathing dinosaurs. And that's our true lifeblood. So we could go here for Triceratops. Um, it's like Triceratops only, or we can go here and get some Entomontosaurus DNA too. Um, since the mission is just for Triceratops, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, it costs about the same, so it doesn't really matter. I'd rather work on that first. Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. Yeah, and I probably should put some food in here. This should be like the nice thing that we do. Just so they don't die of, of starvation. Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs, which attract I'm gonna put two in there and put one like right here. Capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs. And there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. And the other thing I wanna do is I kind of want to build a ACU unit like right here and get everything that you need all set up. 
can this go back further? Yes, it can. I kind of want it to go at like an angle, like right here. Looks like you've run out of power. That's not good. Build more power stations or increase your output. Stick that right there. And then I'm going to probably need to build like a power station like right here. Just because we're running out of it. And that can go right here. I guess I don't really need to do that. I could have put that like right there. That's a bit of a pylon, anyways. Hey, I'm Isaac. I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. It's rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. Yeah, we can do this one too. Everyone knows we do this for money. I'm just upfront about it. No apologies. Yeah, there's no reason we needed to hook that up there. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Like, there's no reason. It should get power once it's built. You should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. So I think they came back already. Sell this real quick. And this should be more than enough to level up our Triceratops. The other thing we should put in is like a ranger station too. put it because I know if I put it over there I'm gonna need like another pylon. Uh, I could put it right here if it'll fit. Just kind of placing things anywhere at this point. Great strides so far. I believe I may be oh. on the cusp of something wondrous and I have you to thank at least in part for where I find myself. Now we need to incubate, hatch, and house our dinosaurs. Then we will know if our efforts will have been worth it. So not the prettiest park in the world, but at least it's efficient. I really want to fix this path just because it looks wonky, but I don't think I'm going to do that now. We'll add some trees just to make it look prettier. Just because I think it needs it. So it doesn't look so... Yeah. Are these done yet? Yep. And... I think we can get more DNA first before we start doing that. It's pretty low. We could go here. I also kind of want to do some research. The research center lets you improve your park in various exciting ways. New buildings, upgrades, and more await. So we kind of don't need to do the fences now, at least not until we get a Stratosaurus. Um, but that is kind of important. Eh, we might as well do it now.
I gotta start looking out for my money. It's starting to get really low. Do 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 do. Zero zero three. Run zero zero three. <laughs> I like how it just says roaming. Oh, now it says socializing. I want to see the one that says roaming. Just because it's funny to me. They did such a good job. I want to see if the fossil team came back. Nope, not yet. Yeah, I did send them out. There's not really much we can do until they come back. Do, 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 do. So yeah, if, yeah, if you guys are curious about map size, um, this is basically the entire map. I sometimes wish it was a little bit bigger. Um, I do think they were a bit small, unfortunately. Um, I haven't played in uh, Nublar yet, but I'm hearing that's pretty small too. It would be nice if like they made some kind of patch to make like the islands a little bit bigger, or maybe had something to where you can go like to the other side, because there's like all this space over there that you can't build on or can't go to, and it's all just mountains. Like, um, I wish I just wish they would have given us more space. I don't know if it's because like this game was supposed to be for consoles, if they lessened the space on it, um, but it would have been nice to have like more things to build with and more space to build on. But that's just my opinion. I think this game is really good, but it does have some things that I wish they would have changed. So these guys are back now. Yeah, I'm gonna risk it and just get a Triceratops right now. It's probably a bad idea and it's probably gonna fail. I'm not gonna modify the genomes in it, even though I think you can right now, I'm not sure. Yeah, you can get like an arid pattern. It'll probably fail if I try that, but... Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. At least with one, and just see what happens. It's too expensive anyways, I can't do it. I'm gonna have to get a regular one. Maybe I can afford a regular one. Nope, can't even afford that. We should actually be making at least some money because we have all this stuff in here. It should help a lot. It's just like when you extract all the fossils that are in here, it takes up a lot of your funds. When I first played this, I kind of sold them all and just stuck to the mission dinosaurs, and that sort of helped with money. And I don't think, like, the dig sites um, get depleted until you have, like, the full genome. So I think you can sell them and stuff and make extra money. I don't know if it gets depleted, like, if you keep on selling them. I'm not sure. I haven't tried that yet. Did I send these guys out again, or...? No, I did not. Um, I think I'm just gonna go for Triceratops. Oh, I shouldn't have sent them out. I need to save money. Alright, guys, I'm thinking I'm gonna end this part here. Um, I'm gonna try to save up for a little bit of cash just so you guys don't have to wait. And then um, I'll probably record another part right after. Um, as soon as I have enough money to where I can start building. Alright. Bye.